close to talking about budget padding controversy. And with us in the Abuja studios is a member of the Transparency Group, Honorable Lawal Gumal. You're yes. welcome to the program. Thank you, Mopi. You're welcome. Good yes. morning. Good morning. This you. scandal, is it ever going to end? We heard from the House of Representatives yesterday or two days ago, uh, Honorable Namdes, who's a uh, spokesperson for the House, coming out to say that the House is constitutionally incapable of padding the budget. What did your group make of it? Because you have said that we should go and check the meaning of the word padding and that, you know, there was padding. What exactly, you know, whose word do we take? Yes, Mope, I want to start by congratulating this station for your chairman winning the chairmanship of the bond and congratulate the station generally. Thank you. Then on the question you asked, mm -hmm. it is very, very important for people to know that our group is not asking for anything big deal. We are just asking for a situation where Nigerian civil society organizations and everybody to judge whether there is a need for investigation on this padding case or there is no need for investigation. As far as we are concerned, there is a need to investigate so that some of us that are not necessarily padding the budget will be exonerated from the padding issue. And the issue of Namda saying there is no padding. That is why I said people should look at the dictionary and get the definition and of he didn't, he didn't just say that there was no pardon. He said the House was constitutionally incapable of pardoning the budget. In other words, the House was right if it was moving money around or making a new input into the budget. It was in its line of duty as the House of Representatives. Exactly. If it is the House, when you say the House, you mean the 360 members in the House. They can move money, they can appropriate they can do whatever they want to do with the budget submitted by the president within the law but a situation where 10 20 people will do something secretly to insert something so that it will favor them alone that is pardon according to dictionary definition of pardon and the house the leadership they can be able to do that so numbers is wrong to say that the house we are not referring to the house if the whole house do something is not pardon that is in the chamber, motion was passed, agreed, moved, question was moved and answered whether nay or yes, and they carried. Then we have a situation where there is no pardon. But a situation where 10, 20, 15, just 1% or 2% of the number of the house do something secretly to favor themselves. Mm -hmm. That is the definition of pardon. You were saying that it, the house cannot pardon. But the but individual members can pad. Yes. Tell us what, because people will think that uh, there are groups within the house, there are committees within the house that have been given that uh, the, given the power of appropriation, as it were. The house has surrendered some of its powers to the committee on appropriation. Yes. If the members of the appropriation committee to sit and you know allocate monies, are they acting on behalf of the House of Representatives? Mope, no committee in the House of Representatives is allowed to do a work and pass without bringing it back to the House for members to consider and approve. The Committee on Appropriation is not the only committee that works on budget. Every committee of the National of the House of Representatives works on budget. After working, they all submit to the Committee on Appropriation. The, the Committee on Appropriation do all the nitty-gritty and report back to the House. And the House sit down, agree on item by item of the budget. Then the problem here, Mope, is after passing the budget by the House, then we come to see some things inserted which no member, no member who is not among those that did the padding, the padding, has known about it. That is, about 300 members did not know that these things are in the budget. So that is where the padding issue comes in. And that is where our group are saying that there is a need to investigate to confirm whether it is true there was pardon or there was none. If there is pardon, whoever pardoned should be prosecuted. That's just what we are saying because we are tired of this issue of everybody abusing House of Representatives or National Assembly. We want the criminal to be fished out. Mm. Well, my colleagues in Lagos would like to send your questions through. Yeah, let me ask you, uh, Rebbe Gumau, are we talking about allocation of cash or is it projects? First of all, 
allocation allocation of cash yeah when you say padding are you referring to allocation of cash to certain individuals or is it about projects or both no it's not allocation of cash look at it Chamberlain the issue of padding is not the issue of allocating cash in the budget it's inserting any project in the budget which was not agreed by the total number of members in the House of Representatives. For example, we have zonal intervention, which was agreed in the chamber, and the executive agreed to allocate 100 billion for zonal intervention. So what we are saying now is, when this issue of zonal intervention comes in, there is a need for the money to be appropriated so that every constituency in Nigeria will benefit. Then after this, Inter I, zonal intervention being shared between all the constituencies in the country, then the appropriation committee will insert in the budget. Ordinarily, this also could have been a pardon, but because it is considered in the House and in consultation with the executive, then zonal intervention is not a pardon. The pardon now is when some few individuals have been abusing their positions, inserting other issues in the, in the budget, that is not agreed by the 360 members. That is where pardon comes in. Now, then the, the issue now, being in the donor intervention, what they informed the members is that 60 billion was approved, not 100 billion. Unknown to us, the 40 billion is going to be shared between themselves. Then the other question is, assuming that were the case, is it that when all of these are done, at the end of the day, the document it's not distributed to the entire members in the House of Reps. They see the final copy before it goes on. The final copy, Chamberlain, will not be presented to the members. It was presented to the executive for assent. Instead of presented to the members. Because had it been presented, it will be presented. But it will be presented without the party. It, will presented with, it has been presented without the budget. So what we are saying now is, after the passage of the budget in the House, then pardon comes in, wow. before going to the present for assent. So if that happens, can you then say that can happen successfully without the Senate? Because it's the National Assembly that approves the budget before they send it to the executive. Isn't that correct? That cannot happen without the Senate. There is also party in the Senate. Let there be investigation. The, the truth will be revealed. You know, the good thing here is that uh, you represent the transparency group in the House. Uh, and uh, one wonders, yes. going through what you have just highlighted, that we have so many gate gatekeepers. So individuals, they have come up to bring their own issue. And uh, before it comes to the uh, appropriation committee, all these gatekeepers, was there any time they pointed to some anomaly in the budget? What did you say last? Was there at any point that maybe the individuals who came up with uh, some of their own budgeting uh, system, or rather budgets, either before they handed them over to the appropriation, uh, point out any kind of discrepancy? We, we have been pointed out, you see, this padded, padded, padding issue is not a new issue in the National Assembly. This is something that has been happening since the beginning of Obasanjo regime. But what has been happening is that when we came in the Seventh Assembly, we said we don't like padding. We want a situation where every, everything in the budget will be transparent so that every member can be able to explain to outsiders that this is what happens in the budget and this is what is happening now. But they refuse. And we did not come out before because we thought we can be able to fight it internally, to stop it internally. So on the Earth Assembly, on the coming of the Earth Assembly, the first thing we were fighting was padding. In fact, before the election of the Speaker, there was this group fighting padding. The reason why we don't want to vote for a social person is because padding will continue. And there was a promise that padding will never continue in this assembly. Well, in let the me... legislative agenda, it was agreed that everybody will know what is happening in the budget. 
The one we came to do this first budget, we realized that they were making maneuvers to do padding. Then we warned them. Even before Ramadan, there was a promise. There was an executive session where the speaker promised that he will definitely sit down with every member and let him know what and what is happening in the budget. If there is anything, it has to be shared among all the constituencies in the country. This one was agreed. And the speaker did not sit down again with any of any member of our group. And we said to him, we said to the speaker in a meeting that if there is bedding, we will certainly going to, we are going to fight it. Let me bring you back to, or I'll come back to your comments on this speaker, but uh, Senator Onduma, you know him because you, you're, you've been in the assembly since, uh, this is your second time in the, in the House. Yes, in the he was also in the House, now he's in the Senate. Here is what he said about what you refer to as padding. We'd like you to, to get your response after this. And I don't want to talk about something that I really don't know. But what is happening in the House of Rep is just very unfortunate. Because that is, we have, we have processes and procedure of doing things in the National Assembly. If somebody has an issue, he knows what is not supposed to be the, the press, that is supposed to be where somebody will carry his grievances. But I think um, they are going to work on it. I personally, because I'm part of the House, I've been trying to reach out to both sides. And we are working on that. That is as far as can, I can say. It's not good what is happening. And um, this issue that you people talk about budget padding, there is nothing like budget padding. If it is the National Assembly that works on a budget, then you don't call it padding. Because padding is like illegality. But when you think add and subtract a budget, is that you are working on the budget. See, these are two different things. Having heard what he said about padding, what do you think? Thank you, Chamberlain. I want Nigerians to listen to what Indume said. I categorize his statement into three. One, he said he doesn't want to talk about what he don't know. I want to assure you, Indume knows about padding since when he was in the House of Representatives. Let him say the reality. Let him say the truth. I'm very sure Indume was a member of the House of Representatives for many times, and he knows that there was padding. Then two, he said that if National Assembly thinkers add or subtract what is in the budget is not padding. Yes, I agree with him. But what of if 10, 20 people went to somewhere, a hotel or a house, thinkers with the budget? Is that not padding? Are we illiterate that we don't know the meaning of padding? Is he telling me that, Indume, is he telling me that he doesn't know the meaning of padding? We are not talking of National Assembly. Jibril Abdul Muminu is not complaining of House of Representatives padded the budget. Jibril is saying that some people use their position to padded the budget. That's the accusation. So please and please, let us not be talking as if we don't know what we are saying. Um, uh, in knows very well there was there is padding, there was padding, and they are still going to be padding if they are allowed to continue. They are still going to be paying in 2017 if they are allowed to continue.